Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> We're doing Coldplay. <laughs> the new yes. album. It's this episode, the big 7 0 episode. Can you of, plug uh, me in? The white. This is the. <laughs> talking over albums, white privilege edition. <laughs> five, five hours of Mexican drink? restaurant I'll, tequila I'll shots. Beer, I guess, but. Well, I'll angle yet. They're okay. downstairs in the. In the laundry room. Pay no attention to all the laundry. Jeez, no where it is. <laughs> be looking around all night. Right. Once you've found it, hand it's easy to find. Hand me the vapor. She <laughs> said it was in the bathroom. I didn't oh, understand. Right. Which, which the aromatherapy blue. center were you using tonight? The blue and white round thing that your hand is hovering over. <laughs> <laughs> the Vaseline thing. There you go. There it is. Thank you. <laughs> what is that? So golfing. Going out to a Mexican restaurant and coughing in people's faces, <laughs> and listening to Coldplay. Oh, no. Unless someone yeah. vetoes. We were, we were at a Mexican restaurant for like good, a good five hours. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, definitely like the social distancing rules. My shift is almost over. Do you like a yeah. sleeving sleeve oh, for your beer you. to keep it cold? I don't know how fast you drink. I really don't want to. Do it. <laughs> uh, I don't want to do Coldplay. You're gonna I'm love so it. Over. You're gonna love it. How could you be hungover? You're such a teacher. Let's do pure moods. Oh no, now I want to do Coldplay. Because I actively dislike them. Oh boy. (laughs) Yeah, they were very full of themselves on calling it pop, weren't they? We're just going to define pop now. You you have no say. I had the keychain from the the tour. That's right. All right, everyday life. Why are we doing this? I don't know. Just better deliver on 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 the yucks. The giggles. Because I do is. not give two shits about Coldplay. Oh, it's the first time I've had to share the huff. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's great. Isn't it wonderful? You know what's really funny? Just take a little dab and put it right on the end of your nose. No coronavirus. <laughs> you, should, you should record an audio book of cooking with tinned oh. fish. You know, that's what it's really best for. My... Sorry. There yeah. we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. I'm pretty right, impressed at the depth of the uh, research that they did for this. And the worst thing about this as a cookbook goes is that it's hard for you. You can't like actually read a recipe. So they really blew it there. Today's personal notes are enthusiasm. That's not happening. Go to the recycle bin. And, <laughs> and stop saying it's fine. He doesn't Go. do enthusiasm. Nope. It's fine. Because we have one listener. Hi, John. Hi, <laughs> John. Nancy and myself, hi Brett. All right, anybody have anything to say about Coldplay? I hate them. I've always hated them. <laughs> Their Super Bowl performance was ridiculous and laughable. I liked Viva La Vida. That was an okay album. I used to like them back in the the day. So I'm, oh, so I'll put you're that out like, there. It's like when we did. It was club. you. <laughs> I've liked worse things, so you're free. <laughs> yeah, that's to the express like, yourself. I don't really hold it against you don't. You don't, you don't have to. You don't have to poop on them to fit in. It's not aggressively bad, like. They're, they're, to, me, to, to me, they're just super benign. They're, they're an easy listening group. It's, whatever it's coffee house music, it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's like the fine. it's, it's like the pop version of Collective Soul. <laughs> hey, don't dump on Collective Soul. They were <laughs> we do nothing the offensive. Of they were the <laughs> shit. I love I love the C S. <laughs> Well, Already. everybody's had a band they really loved that later they, like, <clears throat> I don't want to say they're ashamed of it, but, like, like they kind of have to keep it quiet. <laughs> right? Sure. Coldplay is the weird one that yes. my, my uncle, well, who is all do. into all the deep, deep, you know, musical acts that everybody, all the cool people know, you know, <laughs> and stuff like that. Like, when I was a kid, he would always talk about Echo and the Bunny Man. I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. I grew up in Chillicothe. <laughs> you have to explain every single band that is not on the hit or station. <laughs> Don't That's know one who of those bands that he I likes never cold had any play. idea who they are. That was the end of my story. Oh. He likes Coldplay. <laughs> it was just like, this makes no sense. You like, you go through your entire life, like, introducing everyone in this town <laughs> like to think bands like The Clash and U2 and you know all these bands like you know all the the ones that you had to be a big fan and it was all a big secret like oh are you a fan of Violent Femmes what's Violent Femmes nerd <laughs> <laughs> you don't know wait I was cool 
<laughs> I did a cool thing. I feel like the first two albums were like very like chill, eclectic, and then they got very uh, pop for like three or four albums. I feel like they yeah. went with like the, the They Might Be Giants kind of feeling at some point. Like, like they heard They Might Be Giants and went, yeah, we could do something like that. And then that's when they came out with that the American Songbook thing or whatever it was called. That yeah, yeah. Vaguely religious. What just happened? What? <laughs> he just he just sent a uh, it's a missile. He sent it flying. Oh, oh man, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> it's got no. You don't. It, it's oh, gonna die. So cute. It's, gonna die. Oh, it's gonna anyway, die. Oh, it's gonna die. Anyway, here's their piece. Oh, it's gonna die so bad. oh my god, he's he's as cute as Joanna. Sunrise. She's angry. There it is. Yeah, I, I skim. I skim through episode. everything after Viva La Vida, and it's just like the snooziest of snoozy electronic. <sighs> Wait, what? Wow, pretentious in the first five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <This> pretentious <laughs> level 10. <laughs> we oh, yeah. Folks, we have achieved, achieved this. This is like, the kind of rock star I wanted to be when I was 13. <laughs> everyone bow your heads, and this is serious business. <laughs> Chris was gonna this make. This is even more than like. Chris a was gonna album. make uh, classical piano pop music again. <laughs> it was. Uh, I figured if Elton John who, was gonna who's do the it, actress I he was married that. to. Who? Oh yeah, Pepper, Pepper, Pepper Potts. Pepper Potts. <laughs> Mothra. Holy crap! This is still going. <laughs> Are we supposed to believe this is this actual is like instruments an playing? What the. <laughs> Okay, I've like, been trying not to swear on the phone. And it's yet, called Sunrise, which is even more oh, pretentious. Me. It's like there's the sun is coming up over the hills. Jesus Christ. At least at least at least mm. in, in parentheses mm, it mm, could have mm, been mm. like A2 to hey. A. This is the statement morning. song, honey. This is his version of Gareth Paltrow's Yanni egg. <laughs> <laughs> is this what your vagina is smells like? <laughs> Like. Filler bell. Wow, this is the fastest <laughs> filler bell you've ever had. Ding, 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 ding. Fil- Zig. Zig. Filler fidget spinner. You can say hi, just don't be jumping. Oh, right, he hates the spinner. Oh, he hates the spinner. <laughs> this is like something so new for Coldplay, though. Like, this was, uh... <laughs> <laughs> the fake violins? What? No. <laughs> fake violins. Did you get over it? Help. Help. Oh boy, this is the longest this two minutes and going. 30 seconds of my life. It's okay. only been two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and I like pretentious strings in pop music. I do too, is... but my god, this is going on forever. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, is this their new album or one of their old albums? This is the newest album. Oh, so they're just in their head right now. Day okay. 37. <laughs> Of the Coldplay <laughs> album. Oh my god, don't quarantine me with this thing. There's church. <laughs> that was okay. We're, the kickoff, the statement song of this album is. What he left out was of the poison mind. <laughs> I wish. Don't don't tease. God, that was so great. How great was that? I think they closed with that song. It was amazing. There it is. There's the little. Uh... Okay, this sounds like Coldplay. <laughs> Yeah, it's like watered down U2, right? <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> it's what like that what sound the kind of music? in the background. What is that? A loon. <laughs> Holy sh- is he singing it? Is the Bono singing this? <laughs> it's just so benign. I don't know what Why I heard. Why don't you like Coldplay, Brett? It's the perfect mix of Sting, Sleepy Music, and um, this part of U2 that you like. <laughs> I don't know. It's not know. yacht rocky yet. I can hear this in any elevator in any. Oh God, this is fifty-two you know, minutes four long. Four stars or better hotel in in the U.S. I, uh, We're gonna be all skipping I can a say lot is of this. I feel like the. Uh, oh no, I think we should just suffer. I'm seriously, it. It I go back to it. It's it's uh, it sounds like Sting is singing a really bad U2 song. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the first thought I have. It's just like, oh, it's one of those songs on the YouTube album that you go, eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, there's... Oh, I'm already broken. Oh, it's like church, like church is... Is this more Is like sexual than... metaphor makes me want to... 
fucking tear somebody's face oh my God, off. Is that what he's talking about? Probably. I or wait a minute. <laughs> or wait a minute. Are we just so meta that we're not seeing the real what's really happening here? Oh Maybe God. this church, is church the best thing vagina. I've ever heard and I just don't know it yet. <laughs> it's the whole church's vagina thing. I have a serious question already. We're like two and a half minutes into this. <laughs> It's and only been two and a half minutes. It, go, it goes from boring, pretentious intro to even more boring follow-up song. Like, wait, shouldn't this, this is been exactly like mid album? And it's just, you know, so it's just going to get more boring. Yeah. The, the, God, I have a the real next question. song is going to get like super political. It's going to like uh, it'll be the radio. I like this part. It's, it's very pure violence, moods. The next song. But it'll be so. nothing that anybody can find any fault with. I already I'm taking a political stance on leaves. I'm for leaves. I'm pro leaves. And if you don't like that, I'm you can <laughs> f*** off. It might be. Uh, leaves, I mean, man. Leaves need their representation, too. too. I'm, yeah. I have a bad feeling about this one. This is a... <laughs> what is that? It's like <laughs> Anya in the background there. <laughs> That is Bono. If I could <laughs> melt your heart. As long as these guys remain popular, you two will still be selling seats. Maybe they're Ziggy half to death. Look at him. It's like, ugh. And that's the thing is, like, I love sleepy time music, like Anya and pure mood stuff, but this isn't even, intri- like, relaxing enough for that. It's just completely in the middle. I could get a massage to this, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it sounds Masa- like, the, like, like they play when you go to resorts it's, in, yeah. like, Mexico and Jamaica and stuff. They, like, have this music piped in that's, like, generic, but yeah, ambient pleasant. Pop. Yeah, it's, like, yeah. really pleasant, and it, it's, like, one it's, continuous 60-minute yeah, yeah. song. It's the W. All right, here's Trouble in Town. That's Everything sounds... It all this sounds vaguely like, familiar. Explicit. Ooh. This is, like, their super political song right here. Oh, I cannot. Does, does he say I'm sorry at the end? He's like, so, so, sorry if I offended anybody. <laughs> it's explicit. That's <laughs> amazing. It's like, what's he gonna say? How Damn can you, you for. I'm gonna have to get a political lyric out of it. Damn you for buying my album. <laughs> Damn you to heck. <laughs> Man, he's mumbling worse than I do. Don't you Look dare up the lyrics. Any of this. Trouble in town by Coldplay. Jesus the video Christ. has a police officer that looks like he a sucks. It looks like a tiger on the song. <laughs> Have you ever seen the video Jesus. for this? <laughs> well, just like the still frame of it is like a police car in front of a taco cart, and <laughs> and the police officer looks like a cheetah or a leopard. <laughs> Okay. Trouble in town because they cut my brother. Uh, oh God! Oh no! Because my sister can't wear her crown. There's trouble. There's trouble in town. Blood on the beach. Oh my goodness! There's blood on the beach. Lord of the jungle, or the lore of the street. There's blood. There's it's blood like, on the beach. It's like this it's like a bloody Sunday of cold <laughs> right Trouble in town because they hung my brother Brown. Oh my you God! You know what this reminds Brown? me of? Have you ever heard that band Maroon 5? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a weird shift, just reading these lyrics. Like, there's a lot of f- F-bombs coming up. Seriously? Right. I, I, I feel like they're trying to get, like, edgy. Like, a right truckload now. of yeah. F-bombs are coming up here. This like, is their punk song. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and, and then the song ends with Jekele, Jekele, Jekele. Now you gotta Google that sh- So they're doing their obligatory Peter Gabriel. Oh, it's the radio listening in. This is deep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry. <laughs> this is so deep. This is the worst thing we've ever done on the podcast. Like this is this is this got to tapestry level like real quick. <laughs> Self-indulgent really like a James Taylor album. Oh, don't you bring that up. <laughs> oh, like Met Madam X. That, that was a, oh. another low point. Mm-hmm. Madonna's mm-hmm. last album. Is but at least that was like... Is bands that's just Chris Martin? Or is there like a, an actual band? <laughs> or is there like get, Weezer where it's just one guy? Much. There used to be. It's just... I think it's just his vehicle at this point. <laughs> I felt like oh, was wow. like, they Look were like what... so like neutral, like middle line, and they try to get like political. In this I'm gonna album. skip a lot of this because I don't want to edit this podcast. I'm just like, <laughs> Look what Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina did to him. <laughs> Turned him into a yanny. Let's get to the Jacquele part. <laughs> Jacquele. Oh, she was probably like, Chris, 
Can you write an album that sounds like the shit I sell on the internet? <laughs> What's the vocal equivalent of that? Here's, What's the musical equivalent? Here's broken, but the E is capitalized to make it artsy or something. Oh, God. <laughs> is the song supposed to be called Broken E or Broken? Is there an emphasis on the E? Maybe it's Broke N. Bro- oh, so this is this, this is what I listen to, I think. Famous people sometimes really get full of themselves, you know? He's a marshmallow. Yeah, he's a human marshmallow. Not really all that sweet. Vanilla pudding. He's like banana pudding from banana a nursing pudding. home. I, no, that's no good. Nursing home banana pudding. It's Chris Martin. Well, I don't know what the song is. It's just like a. It's very like a social. Uh, Does social he think posturing. he's going to gain listeners that are more diverse? No. <laughs> <laughs> By badly <Hey>. imitating <laughs> their closely His held voice culture? is a lot like sitting on a spike and trying to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> This sounds like this sounds like somebody coming out of like a nuclear fallout shelter for the first time in their life and wandering into a black church being like Like this is the first time he's ever seen black people. And white swamp he's creature. He's gotta take it over and do it himself. We got a white swamp creature here. We got a white swamp creature. Wait, here. what did we say before we started this? This was the uh, the album of white privilege. <laughs> No, it's, uh, a, it's the theme of the whole day. Wow. Oh, okay. I told you it's Gwyneth Paltrow's like, Yanni Egg. <laughs> it's like he said, I can do that too. <laughs> I don't know what this is, though. Like, a lot of these like songs a, are really short. It's not like a song. He's, I it's think like he's a, using this to strengthen his fictional wall. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't even say it all the way through. <laughs> because it's time to believe it wholeheartedly. All right, here's Daddy. <laughs> Ooh, wholehearted. Can we do extreme next? <laughs> What's this one called? We might get this this fast enough for and just do something else. <laughs> I, I'm, it's called maybe Daddy. a different is, Coldplay album. Is this a I, I would like to see what people like about. They're it. all this boring. Yeah, they usually <laughs> don't a lot of bands that are popular. Like they'll have like them. one album with a bunch of hits on it, and then a bunch of <laughs> shit, and we're like going, "Why do you like these guys?" <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's what made U2 good. They have like like numerous albums this where they just went. This is the piano player I wanted to be. I know how to get you back. So, you know, he's proven it can be done. You should send a demo tape to Chris Martin. I think I play piano better than he did. <laughs> he probably made her relax so much her uterus fell out. It's so fucking sad. Two people who are clearly meant to be, wanna, to be together. I, I, wanna, I can't draw, but I want to draw a picture of Chris Martin. <laughs> <laughs> Crying next to that candle that says it smells like her vagina. I'm not even listening. <laughs> this is like a. Oh my god! <laughs> Come on, this would be song great. Daddy. I don't think this counts as songwriting. <laughs> like tinkering on a piano and just kind of mumbling lyrics. I can't hear things. Does not right. count. It's. Like, in, literally anyone can do this. Even if you've never touched a piano or sang in your life, anyone can do. Anybody can do this. This is sort of like if, if you think about it, some of those uh, Led Zeppelin songs <laughs> that you love, but is really just a lot of Robert Plant saying words that fit the music that was already <laughs> written, kind of thing. Yeah, but he was really good at it, though. Well, that, I'm just, this is like he's making the. You, you look up the lyrics and you're pissed. You look up the lyrics and you're pissed. But if you never looked him up, would you even know what he was saying? I wonder if how do you sing along with this? <laughs> I wonder if he's ever fallen asleep at the piano while writing something. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that is hundred percent happened. <laughs> that is hundred percent. Holy shit. shit. Ambient the album. It's so far away. There we go. All right, here's W O T W P O T P. What? It's it's art. Oh god. Wato pato. Hey Chris Martin, has anyone ever told you you sound like human laxative? <laughs> yeah, he he's he's like desperately searching for authenticity. Does he not know who he is yet? Every song is a different. Is he gonna thing. fart into the microphone at some point? <laughs> I can't hear this song right now. <laughs> it's like a demo tape. <laughs> it is like a very like this is an extra negative album. episode. Let's say nice things. Everything that I like he the has gu- never like put the on another album just like fell into. Chris Martin's hair dye makes him look like he's not gray yet. <laughs> 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 
hey Chris, <laughs> go back to England. <laughs> no, no, you can stay. I just kind of tease you unmercifully. Go back to Leeds. I hear it's the you most. Wanker. I hear it's a form of respect. <laughs> If they make fun of you oh until you God. cry, that means we're friends. Okay, so Longest minute like, and 16 seconds. It's just filler. Ring the filler ukulele. bell. Ding, ding. Here's Arabesque. Another explicit tune. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Is he going to say darn again? <laughs> Longest track on the He's album. Darn, my He's... socks are holy. <laughs> He's thinking I record other people swearing and call he should, it lyrics. He should do a whole concept album about laundry. <laughs> You didn't screech with laughter at my pun. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is there a song here? What's going on? Oh, sound effects. Like he's gonna know. The guy who wrote it doesn't even know. There it is. Look, look at that. That rhythm there. <laughs> this at least has a little energy. Maybe they should have put this up front. Or are we on the hot side? Was there a hot side, cool side? And for some. <laughs> Cool side, it's like, vanilla it's like side. The McDonald's of music. Is there a hot side and a cool side? No, it's like poor it's music. The right Big Mac there. bread, some <laughs> lettuce, and some more Somebody bread. Had you start with and the then cool some side. more bread. Some, <laughs> some tasteless yeah, pickles. Oh God. He's the yeah, Big Mac. Right there. It's hmm. bland meats mixed with bland bread. I need to pour myself Bones a new beverage. I changed When's my mind. That song part? has no energy at all. The explicit part. <laughs> he could take marching music and make it boring. <laughs> Who's singing? I think it's Chris. I'm pretty sure oh, he's the only person in the band Coldplay anymore. Yeah, we're two minutes in. I didn't even realize they're singing a different language. They're singing at all? Are they singing a oh, different yeah. language? Actually, you know what this reminds me of? At least it's kind when of I'd have friends that would tell me, hey, I got that new album. And I listened to it about ten times and I'm starting to like it. <laughs> <laughs> and I always think, are you just earworming yourself? <laughs> like, you, should, you should like it pretty much right off. <laughs> I don't think we're in any danger of that happening. This... Oh, oh, I found it. This, is, this song is like Ooh, the equivalent of the smell of a get to at least street half. in Mexico. <laughs> you know, the one with the sewer on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this song makes me feel like, oh, we're, we're pretty close to that bar. But I'll say something positive. I think we turned down the wrong street. <laughs> I like Because I think we're at the <laughs> hole. <laughs> I like the saxophone sound. That's a positive thing. <laughs> Saxophone? Yeah, the saxophone I mean, sounds yeah. good. Yeah. We just Next went into... Yeah. I feel like at least Coldplay was trying to move away from like their pop. <laughs> they were, like they were trying to be eccentric or something. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Uh, oh, I was just going to say, maybe they're moving into their lethal weapon phase. <laughs> <laughs> With the dirty sax. <laughs> Now we're talking. <laughs> Let's see if it goes anywhere. Nope. Well, they're going nope. with jazz now. So kind of. Oh, here we go. Church music and it orchestral. Mm. It's building. And artsy, you know, outrage. If this wasn't so horribly compressed, <laughs> this might actually be interesting. But it just sounds like a fan being blown into my ears. <laughs> that reminds me of the 80s. <laughs> Driving along, listening to the radio, going. I got it. I think I like this song. <laughs> I figured it out. I forgot. Yeah, the, like they don't let anything breathe in the mix, so you can't actually tell what's supposed to be going on. It's kind of cool. It's just really badly produced. It's building to something, and then <laughs> it dies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we ran out again. Pull the plug. <laughs> Generator off. <laughs> Here's. When I need a friend. Oh, oh tapestry. Here's when I need a friend. <laughs> oh, God. Please. Tapestry. Songs with the word friend. Carol King. <laughs> Christmas songs. <laughs> it's tap tapestry in parentheses. It's just <laughs> Silent Night. It's the, song, it's the song from uh, uh, Home Alone. The, when he goes to the church. <laughs> Holy sh I mean, the people <laughs> Home Alone were way ahead of their time. And Oh, what's, uh, I really feel I was on to something. 
Mm-hmm. I think he, the autom- it, the, if you listen, I can't hear, understand the <laughs> word he's saying. <laughs> What's that from? Are you singing Home Alone? That's all Is that I Home know. Alone? Okay. Yeah. The Home Alone theme. Now I'm listening to the Home Alone theme. When I... What, what do we call like the Home Alone you love get, theme? The the song. Love theme. Home he, Alone he love theme. It goes Spanish theme. here. <laughs> oh, right. it's Home Alone Hold in on. love with. I'm skimming through this anyway, so I'm going to pause. Oh, I, I want to... See if that's what it is. Thank you, Fiji water. Water from the top of penguins' heads. You know, they don't ever offer to sue you if you use Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know John Williams did the Home Alone. Yeah, it is. There you go. He was... (laughs) Good job, Chris Martin. You just ripped off Home Alone. It's a new low. (laughs) I guess at least I wasn't Home Alone (laughs) 2. Uh, she. Oh, yeah. Okay, back to the album. Well, I mean, if you're gonna copy, copy the best. John Williams. <laughs> Williams Williamson. Now I'm you, get, you gotta wait to the end of the song because he like. I don't know what this is. Like, is this a song? Man, this is making me hate music. <laughs> <laughs> Why does the Chris Martin want us to be right? <laughs> like, I feel like. Chris Martin got like super something. He got. He got tortured. <laughs> no, he he just he realized how rich and disconnected he was, and this is like a midlife crisis album. <laughs> I know so that's very. I know that's very mean, but uh, listen, listen, listen. That's what's going on. And now we're speaking Spanish. You know, he sent his personal assistant out to record this guy. I'm going to need you to uh, record some things for me, Karen. <laughs> Here's guns. This I wonder is, what uh, this is going to be. a protest song right here. Karen, this is Bob Karen. Dylan? Karen, I need you to go out and record some things he for me. He thinks he's Bob Dylan now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Stop breaking my friend, Chris Martin. <laughs> Because you're breaking the bread. No, 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 no. Not forget Stop breaking bread. He goes a trumper soon. He dropped him an F bomb. Scandalous. That boy's balls just dropped. It's, it's like this that kills any actual left wing <laughs> movements in the world. Is the f- <laughs> right? Like this. You mean those Nazi communists? Like, yeah. You know what ruins left wing and progressive movements are like well meaning dumbasses. Oh, God. <laughs> you see, I guess guns. <laughs> Every once in a while, we get really political. Are there teenagers that, like, get crazy when they find this guy? Yeah. All right, I'll say a nice is thing. The guitar, the guitar is The guitars mix nicely, and it sounds good. Yeah. Is he even one playing like, it, though? Like, you just bring somebody in for that? I mean, they are technically a band. So. The only good thing about this album so far has been that guitar riff. Here's Orphans. Orphans from the gun violence, I guess. I don't know. Don't they just stay Happy bands orphans. even when it's one person like Weezer guy because he wants to go up against bands he doesn't want to go up as a, a single artist? Oh man, I just got fiery and angry. <laughs> one of the songs is just in like Punjabi. What? The title, I don't know, like, I don't know, some sort of Indian or Pakistani characters. Like, mm. Are you accusing an Englishman of... Mm. Appropriation. <laughs> One thing I noticed in this song, he really likes Peter Gabriel too. <laughs> this sounds very and Peter Gabriel to me, Simon right? Am I right? It is. <laughs> but he has no rhythm. Like, there's no good <laughs> rhythm. <like> he... <laughs> he's he's making he's using that African sound I'm, I'm without the African sound. It's like the first 
time that Chris Martin's tried to get like pseudo political. <laughs> Even, even if he failed, like, he at least, like, tried to, like, you what know. What does it benefit the world that he tried? <laughs> why, why didn't you cry? So he listened to Graceland and some Dylan. This song reminds me, it's like, yeah, I need I need one of those African things with, the, like, like all the, you know, like, Paul Simon, right? You know, remember that thing that album did? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but take out all the ethnic parts. <laughs> Right. So you just sit there. It'd be, be awesome if like like people came in drum circles and he's like, <laughs> can you do all that all that ethnic? Shit? <laughs> he's like trying to snap along to like a drum circle, like <laughs> <laughs> waspy white wine drinking women from the United States will not like it with all that ethnic in it. <laughs> Which good conversation? What, theorize what you think this w- album was for. I think to pay for his divorce. <laughs> <laughs> I think Gwyneth Paltrow left him because she found this quite edgy. <laughs> She's like, "You've gone too far, Christopher." Too cutting edge for her, Christopher. This is neither super expensive nor ridiculous. It's just benign. It's fine. No, I don't know. By the end of this album, how Start. many songs are left? Like six. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> They're all short. So by How long have we been here? Album, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm feeling like it's not just benign. It's it's like something to aggressively dislike. Here's e e e e e e from all kinds of different cultures. It, so it, we're now gravitating towards North he's Africa. Not just outright stealing. He's just boring. I know. Where's the Native American song? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh God! There, there's probably going to be like a Native American drum circle song at the end. I just, like? post I just thought I'd throw right? it out there because the way this album seems to be going, it's like he he did that Phil Collins thing. I make fun of so Brad gets mad, <laughs> where Phil Collins just hears a song that he likes and then just changes it around a little bit and writes new <laughs> lyrics for it, and boom, I got a hit. <laughs> oh, That's right. We 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 really like hurt you with one last time around. That was bad. Yeah. It was a Prince song. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what this is, though. So. Well, I should do a special segment where every time I'll take the album home and sleep on it and then <laughs> and then rank it appropriately. I'll be like, oh, okay. Not well. based on your anger level at the end of the album? Yeah, I'll just do, like, <laughs> like what's a sleep rating? <laughs> How many hours of sleep did I get after I listened to it? <laughs> That'd be good too. Well, he just sounds like Dave Matthews now. Kind of. That's who it is. I was trying to figure out. It does kind of sound like. Well, who's he ripping off on this song? I can't quite catch it. I feel like I found it. We should do a solo album. uh, (laughs) Well, I figured out how you become a fucking top pop artist. (laughs) Just Just what's popular right now is going to be popular in 12 weeks when I write it. Put it out. Africa. Boy. Uh, yeah, this is very Dave Matthews y. <laughs> this man's never had an original thought in his life, has he? Dave Matthews enunciates better it, than Chris I think it's Chris just like the Martin. you know, a, acoustic African. He doesn't want you to know what he's actually saying because his lyrics uh, are really bad. Here's Cry, Cry, Cry. You, you forgot because it it's been so many weeks we've been listening to this. It's the same album. <laughs> there you, it is. You had forgotten. I'm here to remind you, baby. Okay. That's what we do. We're married. I have to help her. You know, <laughs> she forgot. We've not been here for four days. We've been here for 20 minutes. <laughs> what kind of Randy Newman bullshit? Oh, God. I was just there. I was like, Randy Newman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wait a minute. Let me listen just in case. You gotta <laughs> cry, cry, cry. <laughs> now, come on. Let me... Or maybe he's ripping off the Peter well, so Gabriel. Was that an actual song. piano? <laughs> he changed that. He might be ripping off the Peter Gabriel songs that sound like Randy Newman. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> Randy ri- Newman. At least he's not ripping off the Etta James song. That's what I thought when I heard the name of it. So you heard the Johnny Cash song. Or is and- this "Cry Cry Baby"? <laughs> if Randy Newman actually showed up in this, it would save the whole album. <laughs> That'd be sweet. That would. Over the yeah. crew. <laughs> so dad you gotta cry boy you gotta bring out them tears <laughs> God, Jesus Christ thank God when he dies you can take over 
how do they perform these songs? I don't, what, get it. I don't know. I, I do doubt. They play this There's class? no way they're playing any of this live. The audience is like <laughs> hanging on the chair in front of them. <laughs> hey, let's put that album out. Those sleepy songs. We can't tour. Man, I'm. I'm it's like COVID nineteen album right here. Yeah. <laughs> it's like COVID nineteen album. You can't get your hand on lunes anymore. <laughs> it's the next best thing. This will put you right to sleep. You'll sleep through the whole damn quarantine. <laughs> yeah. All right. Bye, Randy this Newman. Is still going. Star Wars. <laughs> Here's- Here's old friends, another friends title. Oh my do that God. one again. Do the Star Wars one again. Star Wars. This is nothing like, but Star Wars. This is like, <laughs> it's only Star Wars. Man. That's all there is. Tapestry. Ow. Too much. Yeah. Oh. Star Wars. They got the guitar there, all right. I'll give it a chance. God, I thought you were in the song. <laughs> God, he's just begging you now. <laughs> <laughs> this is trying to be a really heartfelt little tune here, little ditty. Yeah, this is this is that guy you hate, uh, Mr. Tapestry, yes. um, James Taylor. <laughs> really? <sighs> I got a little Ed Sheeran off of here. I heard him one time. He opened for the Stones. <laughs> I mean, I guess we're gonna lump together all like boring acoustic, heartfelt music. I'm just trying to find the exact one each one sounds like. That's all. You can have your own opinion. I just feel like. All right, this is okay. But Chris totally pulled, totally got the Dave Matthews. I was just there. What does that sound like? Well, I'm just gonna call it like okay. Something embarrassing, something embarrassing is going to happen in the song, right? Like in the next five seconds. Are you? He's going to do. That he's going to do that clucking language from Africa because that's the only thing I don't think he's stolen yet. Okay, there might be one. De- this might be the one decent song on the album. Is he uh, going to start yodeling now? <laughs> like like, in, like the Mongol like the Mongolian throat throat singing Sorry. choir comes in. <laughs> You're right. He hasn't yodeled or he hasn't clicked a little No, he made it. Nice. Yay! <laughs> Good job, Chris. Here's the song you can't pronounce the title because it's art. Oh, God. All that. Oh, my God. It's more classical <laughs> piano. I told you I could have been a rock Chris. star. There he is. <laughs> yeah, but you had, you'd had to wait around for Chris Martin to get famous. <laughs> I feel like you tried so hard not to be pop on this album. Like it was like, <laughs> but it still oh, is. It <laughs> That's the thing. You can't escape it. It's his destiny. <coughs> well, the good. only halfway decent song on here was the one that was closest to pop. Why would he avoid the thing? The only thing he's even a little bit good at. <sighs> this is all right. I mean, it's good. Like well, yeah, tea time. piano by itself is always good, Brett. Tea time music. Yeah, why didn't you do a whole album of this? I know, this I need to be looking for clothes of Von Maurer right now. Yeah, Von Maurer. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be awesome if you just pl- was pl- playing piano in a Von Maurer. I've been interviewed for the piano player job there once. <laughs> so did Nathan. They make you walk into the middle of the... I don't know what I thought they were going to do, but they made me walk into the middle of the store and sit down in front of all the people and start playing in the middle of the store. <laughs> I don't think you I think you applied for this and you don't know how to play. I was not prepared for that. <coughs> Von Maher. That was the part I was gonna like get used to after I got the gig. Oh god, I'm not sitting through all three minutes of this. <laughs> Is there any singing? <laughs> well we'll never know. Oh it now. turns into a different thing. Okay, it stops and then it turns into a different thing. Get out. God so artistic. <laughs> Oh, it turned into a sting Doesn't song. Doesn't make him like jump his bones? It's so it's artistic. Stinks. Yeah, it's like when you're trying to. I walk along the city street. When it's like you're, you're trying to formulate, like be creative just from your thinking brain, and you're sitting there coming up with a list of things like, okay, a piano song that stops in the middle, and then kind of turns into an electronic thing. 
And then like next, I don't know, like an old timey choir thing, <laughs> where it's like it's not coming from any like flow what's, state. What's, what's this thing at the end here? What's, what's, what's I'm gonna turn it here? up a bit. I don't. I can barely hear it. <laughs> you guys, oh my god, this sounds like the, the throwaway song from. Uh, <clears throat> oh. It's I'm really is. Armageddon. Uh, oh. Amadeus. Who did that? Falco? Falco. 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 Just... And then they cut the children off right mid mid breath. All right, two more songs. We can do this. <laughs> this is surprisingly fast, and yet we've been doing it for fifty minutes. <laughs> uh... I thought it was fifty days. <laughs> oh, next song is Day Fifty. Ch Ch <laughs> Champion of the world. I hope it's a Queen rip. Queen rip off. That'd be awesome. Oh, the COVID nineteen crisis. You know, unprecedented. <laughs> Oh God! Unprecedented times. It's like unprecedented has just become shorthand for, <laughs> you know, virus. <laughs> unprecedented. I feel like I've heard the Muppets do songs that were like way better than that. The rhyme, side, suicide. Kind of seems like they. I mean, obviously, a ton of people hate Coldplay, but it's like it. It seems like they, they even when they're really bad though, they still garner sympathy because they're so earnest. <laughs> it's like oh, but. They're so sweet and good-natured. You f***ing suck, Chris Martin. Die and roast in hell. <laughs> My excuse for Coldplay is, is just remember, there are still people that get in line to go see new kids on the block. No, I've never seen the inside of a tennis ball. <laughs> wow, you have a lived here. one of the many, many free services we offer here at Big Bears Lounge. Would you like to see what it looks like inside of a baseball? <laughs> A glove? Oh, let's see if let's there's see what it looks like the of, uh, I don't know, name anything. Because oh, the dog's been in there. Yeah. This sounds like a U2 song. Uh, specifically like really, one. really, bad one. Um, well, oh, like, yeah, this really sounds like something all, from one of U2's all last all three all albums. Oh, you can't leave it behind? Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this, yeah, you're right. This totally sounds like it could have been on that. And that's not a compliment, because that album's from 2001. So. <laughs> All right, last song, Land the Plane, Final Thoughts. Here's Everyday Life, the title track. This is like their hit song right here. Ooh, hits. They put like the hit at the end. That's brilliant. <laughs> Who's expected to sit this long? All right, give your ratings, final thoughts. I'm not going past an, one I'm, second past an hour on this. Well, I wouldn't want to listen to this if I was depressed. I'm waiting for this song <laughs> to start. I feel like I haven't heard the whole album yet. I like the string parts. I The piano stuff was okay. The rest was... a boring slog that went by surprisingly quickly because I skipped most of it. So I give it a I would not want this in my everyday life. I'm giving it a zero. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I love the 80s throwback ballad that we're getting into mm. here with this, out, this last song. Everyone give your ratings. It's almost is over. Is it Kenny? Is it Kenny? You have four minutes to... The Gambler. What's his last name? Kenny Loggins. No. Wait. I'll give it a five. Hey, everybody. I'm, I'm, I'm going to like... I'm gonna go out. Kitty G. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a five because I feel like at least Chris tried. Even if he, even if he failed, he tried to like you know do something different than just the every cold play album thing. Is five. <laughs> it's just <Yep>. five. <laughs> For okay, the whole now catalog, I know that you five. liked them. That this is your first time hearing this one. No, I've I've heard it like once before. Okay. This sounds like everything else they've ever done. So. <laughs> This sounds like Coldplay, at least. The rest of this, I just... How, do, how does he... I, I'm giving I'm giving this 0. 0.75 tapestries. Boo. <laughs> Maybe 0. 0.8. So what What was Madame X, then? How many... What was that? Oh, this is higher um, than that. Yeah. This some, is mm, benign. Some, I'm not going to remember doing this one, either. <laughs> some, somebody really needs to kick him in the nuts. <laughs> Or maybe stop kicking him in the nuts. There's just something like so disturbingly pleasant about everything he writes. It's like 
Do you ever get angry, dude? <laughs> ever? This man is numb. Do you ever get? <laughs> do you ever get? Se- <laughs> yeah. Time. Like, do you ever feel sexual or angry or like anything besides like coffee pleasant? <laughs> like, mm. All right, that's it. Everyone say goodbye. Thanks for joining us, Will, in person, episode 70. Let's all wave to him. Sorry, Chris. You did, you did too good a job tonight. Okay, so, Chris Send Martin. me some money, Chris Martin. Mm. I'll be your charity case. I think we've proven that he and Gwyneth Paltrow belong together. <laughs> we did. It's beautiful. Oh, it's really beautiful. Course. Goodbye, folks. Say goodbye, Will. This is goodbye, the last Will. episode. Bye. <laughs> it's the last episode you're ever going to be on.